through one of the features of our BC Chemistry Unit 1 and 2 formula sheet and it's the, um, the cations and anions uh, table on the back. And you can see here that it's set up similar but different to other tables you might have in your textbooks and that kind of thing. You'll notice that um, I've got some lines going through it and it's kind of to help segment um, what you're trying to learn a little bit just to help you to learn it a bit easier. So um, uh, if we take a look at our cations and anions just above that line there, okay, the first thing we want to look at is all of the ones above that line um, are all, if we have a look at our periodic table, they're all, so if we have a look, um, plus ones are all in the group one um, uh, group in our, in our periodic table. Plus two is in our plus two. Plus three aluminium's in, in um, group 13, but it's over here. And then if we work backwards from the other end, we don't have to worry about our noble gases, but um, our minus ones are all in group 7 or 17. Our minus twos are all in group 6 or 16. And then our minus threes are all in uh, group 5 or group 15, just depending on how you've learned that. So um, my advice to you is to... Um, don't worry about learning those ones because they come in your exam ready for you to go. If you know that you've got plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two, minus three, you don't need to memorize them. So get rid of that one first of all. Um, if we move down, um, we start to get a little trickier. Okay, so um, if we have a look on the cation side, um, all of these two in this box, these two boxes are um, transition metals. And um, the ones in this box here are all transition metals. You, you essentially do have to learn these from memory, but um, the reason why I've sw split these ones from these ones, these ones for the purposes of VCA chemistry only have one um, charge. So uh, mercury is only ever mercury two plus most of the time or nickel is only ever plus two most of the time. Um, in this box here, these are the three um, elements that have two oxidation numbers. So you'll notice you've got copper one and copper two. You've got iron two, iron three, tin two and tin four. There was no I didn't have enough room to put four plus over here, so I just put it in the three, um, one there. But um, it gives you a little bit of structure to try and remember them a little bit easier. It does take effort to go and actually learn them, but once they're in your head, they're there. Um, this lone one on it by itself is our ammonium cation. It's our only polyatomic cation, so that one's uh, an easy one to, to get into your head. If we come over to our anion side, we have, um, again, I've split them up into three different groups. So we've got our simple or diatomic ions. We've got hydroxide, nitrate, nitrite and nitrate. Okay. Um, and then, so they're always just by themselves. When we look at the next box, um, we've got sulfide, sulfite, sulfate, carbonate, phosphate. Okay, and they are, they're all minus two except for phosphate. But what you'll notice, so if we look at these four here, we've got sulfide, S2 minus. If we add a hydrogen to it, which has a charge of plus one, it turns into HS minus, one minus. Okay, so essentially, um, and we can come down to our phosphate and do the same thing, PO4, three minus, add a hydrogen, it's HPO4, two minus, add another hydrogen, it's H2PO4, one minus. So um, it makes it a little bit easier because what that means is you don't need to remember all of those, okay, and you only need to memorize these ones here, okay. The ones down the bottom here are a little bit trickier again. These four, permanganate, chromate, acetate, and dichromate, 
Um, you still need to learn. They're probably ones that if you're in a hurry to learn them, um, I'd leave them till later. You still need to learn them for year 12, but if you're struggling in year 11, you can kind of leave those ones out for the minute. Um, so um, the other tip I've got for remembering these as well, um, if you look at all of your anions here, fluoride, chloride, bromate, bromide, iodide, oxide, nitride, phosphide, notice that they all end in ide, okay? That ide signifies that you have a elemental anion or one element that's in its anionic form, it's got a negative charge. Um, when we start to get down to our ites and our eights, okay, nitrite, nitrate, sulfite, sulfate, okay. Um, eight, if you think about it, eight always has the most number of oxygen. So in the case of nitrite and nitrate, nitrate has the three oxygens, ite has one less, it's got two oxygens. And then if we look at our sulfate, Sulfate has four oxygens, ite has three. Um, you'll notice too that the charges on ites and eights are the same as well. Okay, nitrite, nitrate are both minus one, sulfite and sulfate are minus two. So um, people get really overwhelmed with learning their, their cations and anions and essentially the way I've structured this is so that you can A, Remember that you don't need to learn these top two blocks and then to efficiently remember um, the rest of them just by having a few little strategies that you can implement just to make the job a little bit easier on yourself. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Um, you can purchase this worksheet um, at www.zenofchemistry.com. Thanks.